And so what do we get now in Barack Obama? Well, I've got videos, by the way. This election, we're going to vet him. I've got videos. This election, we're going to vet him from his college days to show you <laughs> why, to show you why racial division and class warfare are central to what hope and change was sold in 2008. The videos are going to come out. The narrative is going to come out that Barack Obama met a bunch of silver ponytails back in the 1980s, like Bill and Bernadine Dorn, who, equally radical, said one day we're going to have the presidency. And the rest of us slept while they plotted and they plotted and they plotted and they oversaw hundreds of millions of dollars in the Annenberg Challenge. And they had real money from real capitalists who gave it on to their children and their children's children, and then they become communists. We got to work on that. We got to work on that. That's a parenthesis. <laughs> Barack Obama is a radical. We should not be afraid to say that. OK? And Barack Obama was launched from Bill and Bernadine's salon. I've been there. It became a self-evident truth to me that there's zero chance that this incredible chef did not cook many a meal for Barack Obama. Don't tell me ABC, CBS, and NBC, I don't have the, uh, uh, that I can't posit that theory because it's a self-evident truth. Just like it was a self-evident truth that he was with Jeremiah Wright, and just as it's a self-evident truth that when he was at Harvard, he was advocating for the worst of the worst to join the faculty. Radicals. Radicals at Beirut on the Charles. And, and that is who's in the White House, and that's who's outside right now telling you you don't have a right to be here and who would squelch your free speech just as easily they do at Harvard, Vassar, Yale, Wesleyan, they're a bunch of totalitarian freaks.